Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Thanks for tuning in today. And I am working on my last few baskets for Mother's Day. And this is an all Victoria's Secret gift basket. And these are going well, but I'm finding out that these are going well. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to uh, fix up, let's see, five more little gift sets. And these are selling well with the guys. So I'm going to, hopefully you guys have time to uh, sit down with me. Let's get this done. And these are good if... If you don't have a lot of money, if you're just starting out doing it, in these, now you can get away with doing this when you're doing like body care and cosmetics because, you know, the, this is an industry standard and people like this. It's, these are easy breezy and they can reuse these bags, you know, for their lunches or if they're going to a sporting event where you have to have a clear bag or even, you know. So these are reusable. So I got some of these. You can get these on Amazon. And I, I got the lowest denomination. I got like $25 for like $20. And they add average to like $0.88 cents per, per bag. And let's see. So I'm going to start with Butterfly. I'm going to put the butterfly line is that that's the moisturizing body wash, the uh, fine fragrance mist and the body cream. I'm going to put put that together and then I put some glue dots in here. Don't worry about shred. So I put the bulk of my money and then I got these, you know, at a very good deal, the, the products. So I put my money into the products. So if you get good products, you don't have to, you know, try to fill up your bag with a, a bunch of items to make it look valuable. You do have the valuables in there. Okay. And then I got these little cuties, these cute uh, bath sponges from Dollar Tree. And then that's what Dollar Tree is good for, to kind of accessorize stuff that you already have. So I'm going to stick that in there. Snap it. Let's see. And then my posh bow. Purple. That's all you need. Tie the bow on there. And it's the same thing as uh, doing a gift basket, but you got a gift bag. And men like just picking these up for their ladies. And this is going for 65 And they're paying for it. You tell them um, this is the hottest thing for Mother's Day from Bath and Body Works. And where we live, we're not really close to the mall. You know, we have little strip malls. But the big mall. So, you know, I'm bringing these high-end items to them. So that's one down. Okay, let's do another one. Put some glue dots in between these because sometimes these things can uh, they can slip in the bag. So just glue them together, tape them together, whatever you want to use. And I'll tell you why in a minute it's important to keep these as stable and stationary as possible. So just oh, I forgot to put the. Then put the pink little power puff in here, powder puff or shower puff. This is the Bath and Body Works pink pineapple sunrise line. Let's 
smells good. This is quick money. Bo? And if you're just starting out, this is a very affordable way to start your business. That's if you want to specialize in, in a body care and uh, spa baskets. I'm a cosmetologist, so I have an affinity towards you know cosmetics and body care and stuff like that. Okay, that's two. I think I'm my own. Gonna hear salt water breeze and the shower gel, the body mist, the fragrance mist, and the body cream. And I get these items when they're the lowest, at their lowest. Because they can go up. So I'm not gonna say the price because you know the prices may change. I like these are some new glue sticks I'm using there I like them because it's in a strip instead of like a paper sheet so it makes it easy do that make sure everything's even I've been working out in the yard lately, guys. So that's so why after I take my shower, I'm not putting on makeup and my hair isn't done. So well, you guys rather see the the content than me. So but I'm here with you. I'm selling these things too. I enjoy it though. But I'm not a person that's going to like uh, go out on the streets and say, I was a, a caterer, an off-premise caterer. So I've had to pack up all this stuff, load and unload and cook and sit out. And, and it's like, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm for the sheets, not the streets, like that lady say on Instagram. But I do get out. I don't uh, like have a station, but I am mobile. I'm very mobile. So I'll, here's my bow. And I go to small businesses. You know, if you have like a dense, your, go to your doctor's office. Go to your eye doctor. Go, you know, they have staff in there. Go to them and take your items with you. Go to the barber shops. Go to the dry cleaners, wherever you dwell. Go to your neighborhood, your neighbors. We even have a funeral home down the street. And they patron, when I had a catering company, I would go there and they would use me. And, uh, you know, go to uh, the fire station. Because I'm too impatient to sit around and, and, and it's not safe around here to do that anymore. It used to be. We used to be able to do that, but not now. So. And everybody's so jealous hearted now, too, nowadays. They don't want you to do nothing. They feel like you're getting ahead. So, But, you know, when I go door to door, like if you have a dialysis center, um, like insurance company, if you have like a little state farm office, go to them and let, let them get to know if that's what you do. So let's 
how I do it because you know I don't have you know I don't have help setting up and you know I've been through that when you're, you're a caterer we set up tents and that is so dream by the time you get to the event you've worn yourself out and then you have to you know worry about you know using the restroom and my cleaning company I took my supplies from client to client except for the vacuum cleaners and uh, just you know loving all that stuff working and then unpacking and uh, Here I'm in Georgia, and you can't be out here in May with these bugs. No, ma'am. I will get up early four days before the holiday and go to my favorite spot and sell to them. And that's what target marketing is. I target my market. I go to the people I want to sell to. People that I think are more likely to buy from me. Go to them instead of waiting on someone to come to you. And I know barbers, the barber shops, and the beauty salons, and the people at the fire station, and your dentist, and your eye doctor. And your neighbors, hopefully you have a good rapport with your neighbors. There's men, people that you work with, people that your husband works with, okay? All right, we got that one. Here's another pink pineapple sunrise. Put the glue dot two places since this is a kind of tall now to me these are the best glue dots but they come in a sheet and sometimes it's hard to maneuver your product these are the best out of all of them. But if you see some, like when you see them at Dollar Tree, get those. Those work. They're not the best. These are good. And con I like the roll that these come with. So just put them on there. That makes it easy to just put that dot on there. in there snap snap bow use use whatever type bows you like make your own bows use some what are those pull bows Fluff them and you think we're done yet? No. There's a lot to, to do in these. There's a lot to do in gift baskets. Now we have to price them. And what I do, I yeah, these I'm gonna do these 50. Um I use my business card, put a price on them. Because the little stickers that I get, they don't go up to fifty dollars, they go up to twenty-five. There are like pre-printed, and then they give you some that are blank. And so I put my business card on here with the price. 
and it also you know my contact information how they can pay they can pay by cash app or zelle whatever so you know has my my cash app handle or whatever you call it cash tag Make sure it's prominently that is prominently shown. Don't hide it. Put that price right there. You know, so I got a good profit off of this. These are 50. No one's haggling with me on that either. That's big when they can see the value up front. They can see the beauty of it. You gotta remember, I'm going to where they are, and so I can't have any a lot of bulky, big. Can't have a lot of bulky, big stuff. Okay, and just keep doing that. Let's see, let's do one more. Might as well finish these up with you guys. So, just want to give you some ideas. Now, I'm just I'm just sharing with you what works for me with all of my businesses. I did better when I personally went to people. Like when I had my catering business, I would go to uh like I like I went to local businesses, and I would like just give them a sample of my food or give them a cake or cookie. You know, with my business card, uh, I would take box lunches to like different businesses and they would call me back. Same thing when I was a hairdresser. Um, our um, salon was next to a restaurant and when these people got done eating their, getting their food, it was like a, you know, a takeout restaurant. And then I would say, hi, my name is Tanya. I'm a stylist here and here's my card and I have a special just for you. And, you know, come see me if you ever need, you know, your haircut, washing set, or whatever. They get to see you. They get to hear you. They get, you left them with some information. Hopefully, you transferred some positive energy. And um, with all of my businesses, it was really, it was really the face-to-face uh, -face talk now. And people thought that, you know, social media was going to take, go take that away. No. Now, Social media is good for them checking you out once you they've met you or vice versa. You know, you get, they get to see you on camera first and then you meet them, whatever, you know. So it's everything. Just like, a, you know, a political candidate. They do use radio, TV. They shake hands. They go to rallies. They use social, they use everything. So you as a business person, use every medium available to you. Okay, in just a minute, let me show you what I do. Take my little basket. Take my basket, put a little bow on it. Load it up. I have some $15 stuff. And I have these for $25. These are just for two Bath and Body Works items. Put them in here. And wear your, your company like t-shirt. Some comfortable shoes and look just very casual and clean. 
and go to these businesses with your basket. Introduce yourself. Tell them, hey, my name is Tanya. Hello, my name is Tanya. Is your manager here? They say, no, my manager's not here, but I would love to. Um, I have some Mother's Day gift baskets from $15, and I have some Victoria's Secrets for $35, and Bath and Body Works for $50. And if you don't see what you like here, I have more in the car I can bring to you. So that's how I do it. Okay, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. I want to thank you so much for tuning in today. And then they have your they have your contact information right there. And if they don't want anything, all they're going to do is say yes or no. You keep it moving. Oh, okay, thank you so much. See you next time. See you the next time I want a donut. See you next time I need a haircut. See you next time, you know, I get well, my next eye exam or whatever. Okay? All right, guys. Thanks so much. See you in my next video. And if you like content like this, hit the like button. Subscribe if you like my vibe and hit that bell notification so you'll be notified. That's very important. Hit that bell twice for all so that you'll be notified when I upload any new content. Okay? See you in my next video. Bye, Mom.